Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> well, hello there. Did you know that you can request a private video from me made just for you that you can keep forever and ever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday or even give you a pep talk. I'm in Kuwait, so if you want a cameo at a specific location like a nice beach or a mall, just let me know. Get yours today and don't delay. Well, hello guys. Good day, good day. So, today I am having... Something so delicious. You're not even gonna believe it. Okay. This is called macarona bechamel. Macaroni with bechamel, okay? And this is um, Arabic style, Egyptian. For, this is from an Egyptian restaurant. Um, and I have a little bit of bread to eat it with. I know. Carb upon carb, right? So check this out. I need a bite right now. Bismillah, beauty bite. Oh my gosh. I was so hungry. Mm. So, I was starting to feel not well because I was so hungry. <laughs> Okay, so this macaroni dish, we see at the bottom here, has meat. Meat has black olives, cut some kind of ziti looking pasta. Bechamel sauce that is seasoned with nutmeg and then topped with mozzarella cheese. And bechamel sauce, it's actually a French sauce, but it's very popular, this macaroni with bechamel and the... Um, Arab cuisine and um, and it's just a sauce made out of like a roux butter flour and milk and nutmeg mm -mm -mm. but I like eating it with bread I don't know why I know people are gonna be outraged at the carb carbs in here but I'm so hungry. Like, I haven't eaten, so. I don't know why I do this to myself. We woke up, and straight away, we started working on uh, the spare room. Howie's room. We got We need some drink. Diet soda. <sighs> but yeah, it's reorganized. The problem is there's still no room in there. It's like Tetris in there. We have like six suitcases. <laughs> A gaming desk, a bed, a dresser, a huge dresser, a big couch in there. Mozzarella. So, anyway. This pasta, and Salah has one too. So for two of these pastas, and it fills you up, obviously. And it's free delivery. Two of them, 2KD. So two trays like this for 2KD. I'll put the conversion here, but... What are you doing? My cat thinks she's the queen of the castle, and she is. You know, people say, get her a cat tree. 
I have nowhere to put a cat tree, unfortunately. Because preferably near a window, right? There, I don't have any room in here. But she doesn't really need one because she climbs everything. The other day, I found her sitting on top of the sink. Um, there's like a top shelf. I, could, I can't even reach her up there if I wanted to. In a giant pot, empty pot. It's clean, <laughs> but I store my big pots that I don't use very often up there. Well, I get Salah to put it up there for me because I can't reach. I'm 5'1 I'm and he's 6'2 or however tall he is. Above 6 feet. So... Anyway, I wanted to vent about something I saw on TikTok. Hi. I think it was, somebody said, if you don't want to be criticized in life, do nothing and say nothing. And I think it's you know, the credit goes to Aristotle, but I don't actually think it was him who said that. I don't know, pick a philosopher or whatever. Because I was like, don't talk about this, Chantal. You're going to be criticized to high heavens. Whatever. Everyone has an opinion, right? So, too much cheese in this one bite. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear myself say that. This has been showing up on my FYP. This family, this woman. She has six kids. She's pregnant with her seventh. So her, her husband... That's a big glob of cheese. And her six kids, they're pretty young. All of them young. And she's pregnant. All live, and they're from the US, I think. And they all live in a one bedroom. And all I see on the FYP are people hardcore judging this mother. Why this woman needs to have CPS called on her, close your legs, stop having kids, like comments like this. The thing is though, like... <laughs> I just also, like, in stark contrast, it just so happens that after seeing this, you know, I went and checked out her video, and right after that, I scroll, and it's this mother and her three children living in a, in a, like, a, less than a shack. It's, you know, it was a family in Nigeria a woman and her three kids they were sleeping in a shack with two feet of water constantly on the ground starving no food I'm not saying all Nigeria is like that but there are poor, poor parts um So, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, wow, that sure makes that one bedroom apartment look very, very, very good. <clears throat> Those kids were well fed. They seem to have a lot of love from their parents. 
they have a roof and they're dry and they're warm. People really need to check their privilege when they say things like, they only have one bedroom. We only say that in North America because there are parts of the world where they don't even have a roof. <laughs> Even in North America, there's homeless children with their parents. So I get that it's not ideal. It's not an ideal situation because it's cramped. But actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Like, I was seeing people, like, you know. And, like, dumb criticizing, like, well, the parents get the bedroom. Like, how selfish. Like, why is that selfish? Like, how can you give it to one child? You can't give the bedroom to one child. It's not fair to the other children. And if you put all the children in the same bedroom, it's the same thing as having them sleep in the living room. Uh, it's just like, I get so annoyed. I, I really have to stop watching TikTok. It really makes me in a bad mood a lot of the time. <sighs> Unless it's cat videos or food, <laughs> you know, by the way, mm. the nutmeg, anyway, that just annoyed me. What do you guys think about that? I think we're just too spoiled to you know like and to say like stop having kids well I don't know I get that like if you can't support the children you shouldn't have them but I mean you should still be allowed to procreate if you want to do that you people usually find a way to survive you know, it's challenging, but those kids seemed very happy. You know, they were all playing games. They have a big family. They're lucky a lot, you know. A lot of people don't have a big family. She could send them all to work when they hit 16. Actually, she could probably make money from the creator fund because... If they're in the U.S., they would make money off the videos. So I hope she does make some money for her and her family and can move into a bigger place. It might just be temporary, you know, like... We don't know people's lives. Maybe they used to have a bigger place and they just fell on hard times. And that's all they can afford right now. It's just, uh, people are so opinionated and annoying about it. Like, you know, the outrage. My gosh, they're only in a one bedroom. If you look at the global picture, if you look at, if you don't look outside the box and just in terms of being in North America, okay. That seems, you know, that's not what we normally would consider ideal accommodation but if you look at places that are impoverished in third world countries not even just impoverished people would just love to have that one bedroom you know like it's more there's always people who have less than you so just always appreciate what you have And the fact that they seem to be doing, you know, making do with what they have. I don't know. I forget the name of the channel. I don't like subscribe to her or anything, but all I've been seeing on my FYP was this family's haters. So I went and checked out the family myself and I was like, 
Y'all are doing too much. You know. They have somewhere warm to sleep. They have food. They have love. Why do they each need their own bedroom? Like, especially as young kids. They, they were young enough that I don't think having their own room would really matter. So hopefully they can find bigger accommodation maybe as the kids get into, like, young teenage years. It gives them many years yet. You know, what do they need privacy for? Play with their Fisher Price? People get outraged over the most unnecessary things on social media. I could eat this every day. Every single day. <laughs> it's so good. I don't eat it every day, but I could. Definitely. It's so delicious. Man, have you guys ever had mac be macarona bechamel? It's very delicious. It's cheap. It's very cheap. One KD per serving. Like, that's like three something dollars US. It's just like so affordable. In Canada, this would probably honestly be like $15. I, I have to look. I like looking up on like Uber Eats in Canada, like in Ottawa where I used to live. Just ordering out for myself, paneer and rice would be like $50, do you guys remember? So this is, yeah, I know I look tired. I am very tired, as usual. <laughs> I sleep weird hours, like last night, yesterday I went to bed at 11.30 a.m. And I woke up at 9 p.m. And then I went back to bed at, I don't know, four, maybe five. And I woke up again at 8.30 and I've been awake since 8.30 a.m. And now I'm sleepy again. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. It's annoying. You, you know, sleep is so important for energy, for feeling good, for mental health especially like you know anyways that's about it for now um thank you for having what would this be lunch yeah because it's only like 1 p.m right now so for lunch i you know i didn't have breakfast but this is my lunch and um yeah i'll be full for a while with this it's very filling and very good so anyways i look forward to your comments and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the future bye